Hi everyone, my name is Liz I Read and welcome to another video. So today is another reading vlog. I'm in the middle of two books here and hopefully get a lot of reading done. Let's see. much later <laughs> haven't done tons to be honest i kind of really chilled this morning um which was really nice i did watch my christmas movie and i really enjoyed it i don't i must have like just been super critical last year about the christmas prince i enjoyed it a lot more this time around i don't know why i was so judgy last year but i totally was so yeah and i'm so i'm definitely watching the rest of that series it's just it, i think i just need light and fluffy this year like so desperately so i've definitely been enjoying the christmas um movies i did that i did some computer work and i feel like sometimes just doing a couple things your like day is gone it's sunday so we usually take it easy but i did go for a walk and i listened to um more of this and i'm really enjoying it still like i don't know what else to say about it i'm on chapter dude fighting is he right i'm on chapter 16 so i don't quite know where i am here but i haven't made that much progress i just went for a short walk i didn't go for a very long one like i did yesterday i do want to keep reading but i have some things i need to do as well like i need to go book shopping which <laughs> is not a chore it's mostly for like christmas gifts so i need to do that at some point and i was hoping to do that today i may have to do grocery shopping online so i have a few things that i need to do and sometimes those kind of things i can't listen to an audiobook i need to think properly so but i think i want to maybe lay in bed and i'm enjoying the audiobooks so i might do that I think I'm going to be doing a lot of reading more in the evening today since I watched my movie early on today. So, I don't think I mentioned what this was, just in case you didn't know what Alex approximately is about. We follow, I don't even know her name, Bailey. She moves to California to live with her father. It's not working out with her mother and her mother's like boyfriend. So she decides to move in with her dad and it's kind of about her adjusting to her new life. It's summertime, she gets a job in a museum and there's a boy. Also, she's in communication with a boy online and he lives where she's living now and she doesn't know where who he is and she's a little bit nervous to let him know that she's li she's living there cuz she's she likes avoiding things. She doesn't like putting herself out there and she's developing this relationship with this boy and i'm really enjoying it it's really cute so i do want to keep reading this one over the duke's christmas one i'm almost tempted to buy more christmas books because i don't have any more and i'm going to be participating in some like christmas readathons and i don't really have many christmas books so i don't not that you have to read christmas books for christmas readathons but it feels weird not to so I've been kind of like wondering if that's something I should think about. I have one Christmas bug after this and then that's it. So, <laughs> I mean like after the Dukes one. So I might do that, we'll see.
light is terrible, so I'm going to turn it off. But then I'm super dark. I need to get a, a little ring light or something. Um, this is better than no light here. You know, I'm reading these two books right now. I'm on chapter 17 of Alex Approximately. I'm just not reading a lot today. It's just one thing after another. I can't seem to get things done, so I keep on feeling like this is crooked. It's a little better, I think. It's good. Still good. One, it's the next day and I want to talk about what I read last night. I did get tons of reading done, which is good. More than I thought I would. So, yes. So I do want to talk about it before I close the vlog off. So, I just, I wasn't feeling that greatest. I think I'm okay. I think it was more of a, I don't think I have anything. I've been cutting out sugar, so I think it kind of cut up with me. Like I'm detoxing maybe. That's my guess because I feel fine. But even though I have a bookmark in here, I am done. Alex approximate Alex approximate approx emitly. And I enjoyed this. This was cute. I definitely had an enjoyable time reading this. I'm not giving it a five stars though. I'm gonna give it I think a four. I didn't dislike it really. It was just I'm being a little bit nitpicky. It was kind of like it's me not the book kind of situation where I never was like swooning over the romance which is usually a good indicator of whether or not I'm obsessed with the story and I never really felt that way about this. Um, it was fun and cute and enjoyable. I never had those feelings or emotions while reading this. I liked our main, like I liked our hero or I liked our romantic lead, but he wasn't like my favorite. I guess maybe that was mostly the reason why. It's not like I disliked the romance. It's not like I hated him or anything. He just wasn't my favorite kind of heroes. And plus I think it was a little bit too dramatic. Not like the relationship, but there was additional conflicts in here that I wasn't, I guess, the biggest fan of. It wasn't bad or anything, and like when I reflect on it, it was kind of necessary for certain plot points and things like that. I just, I don't know, it wasn't nearly as light and fun as I think I wanted it to be. There were some kind of serious situations that happened in here. There's trigger warnings for like being at gunpoint and possession of a gun and drug use. You don't see the drug use, but it's like talking about drug use in here. And so, and I'm getting a little tired of, cause I'm reading Regency Romance a lot. I just, I keep on coming across tropes of the male having experience and the female not. And it was kind of the case here again. And I'm realizing I'm just getting annoyed by it. So here she's never um, had sex before and the guy has, and they have a conversation about it. And I'm glad that they had that in there. And I think for young adult, it's important to have that. It's just like, I feel like I just only see that <laughs> and I don't see any other like representation. I don't see any situation where both characters are virgins or the girl is um, has experience and the man does not. It's always the man has the experience and the girl doesn't. Now in a lot of ways, I'm kind of glad they still had the discussion in here because or showing them having a conversation because that's important in a relationship and there are gonna be situations where the girls will be the one not having had experience and the man will. It's not like that doesn't happen, but I just, it's always in books. <laughs> and 
I always feel, I don't know, it bothers me because it's such an old trope and it's never explored where, it's always assumed that the man has more experience and I don't think that's always true and it's always explored where, like, I don't think I've ever seen a book where they talk about both people in the relationship are virgins. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I would rather see something else explored or just like, let's not explore it, let's not worry about it. Mostly because I'm just annoyed by it, I guess. Like, I wish it wasn't such a big deal. Now, I understand why it was a big deal in here because it's a young adult novel and you know, you want to have such discussions in a young adult novel, but I just feel like I keep reading it all the time. And like, for Regency, it's always implied that the woman doesn't have any experience. And it makes sense for this time era, but it annoys me so much because if a man in this day and age, so in Regency time, period times, if the man has experience and is unmarried, it's always assumed that he's been with a woman who, like it's not always known, but if a man is with a woman who's unmarried, like that man is putting that woman in an uncomfortable, like in a bad situation or the woman is already in a bad situation and I just don't like that we're like putting men on a pedestal who has experience but in order to have that experience they're compromising other women and I don't like that I usually just ignore it but that's the situation if a man is with a woman and if the man is unmarried and the woman is unmarried or maybe the woman's married but it's always the man is putting the women in a compromised situation and women have no power during this time. And so I can't help but be frustrated by that. It's always this like power imbalance and it's true like in this time, that's just the way it was. Um, I usually just ignore it, but at the same time, it's always in the back of my mind. It's like, if this man has, has experience sexually, that means he's compromised other women in the past. And, and I know it was like that, but the one I'm reading, they mentioned that he's been with women in the past and it's like, he's supposed to be a good guy, but he's made not good choices. I'm not saying sex is bad, but if you put a woman in that kind of position back in that day, usually the woman is the one who suffers. So anyways, that's my little <laughs> sex rant. I finished this. I, I'm liking this story still for um, this romance. It does mention it, but I, I'm getting annoyed a little bit. But I'm on the third story and I am really liking the third story. I think it's my favorite so far. It's a Highland um, novella written by Sophie Jordan and I am really enjoying that one. It's fun. My qualms with such tropes isn't gonna stop me from reading Regency Romance but it does annoy me a little bit, I guess. I think I read 40 pages from here last night and then I finished this. So I read like 240 pages yesterday, which is a lot for me. It's a good number for me. So I'm gonna close out this vlog. I hope you all enjoy this video. I'd love to know if you've read any of these books before. Please comment down below if you have. And click on the video on the screen if you want more bookish content from me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done so. You can follow me on Goodreads and Instagram. And you know what? I want you to keep reading. Bye.